What is going on, guys? Welcome to episode 13 of my 10-season challenge in Football Manager 2017. So, yes, we are at Southampton here in this second season of the 10-season challenge. Uh, there's a chance to win something. Could it be FA Cup, Europa League? Uh, we may have a chance. Our form has been pretty decent. You might look, we're in 16th, but I was in 20th when I got the job. So, I feel like we're going steady at the minute. If you look at the recent performances, yeah, we're doing all right. And I've been really excited to, or when I thought the idea to do this series, I was really excited. It could be unique, uh, different. That's what people suggested as well, to do something unique and different. And I think like, yeah, no one else does this specifically, a 10 season challenge, uh, something unique for my channel, I guess. But yeah, you guys, if you could just leave the support on the on the videos, just yeah, drop a like, leave a comment of what you're thinking as well, as I've mentioned recently, as it really does help me out. Uh, you may notice the views are a bit lower and likes in this series and just in my football manager videos in general because yeah FIFA it does really well for me so if you do want me to keep doing this yeah make sure you show that support on the video even share with your friends who'd watch football manager content on YouTube as well as it really does help me out a lot and I'll be able to produce more videos for you guys but the first game here Sevilla so we got to take into consideration the next game and they're all cu crucial like you look at QPR and you look we should win them uh, win against them they're uh, away from home maybe it could be a tricky game so we've got to balance the squad but Europa League yeah this is a must win at home to get a good lead and to make sure we don't concede a goal uh, but if we do end up doing that, uh, yeah, I'll be pretty disappointed. But let's get into the game now. Team is looking strong, happy with this starting 11, so let's go. Okay, well, this is interesting. Sevilla playing the 4-3-3 narrow. Essentially, they're three strikers, and they've got three in midfield, three central mids, and then obviously four at the back. It's going to be an interesting game. I don't come up against those in like so much. Uh, just interesting formation. Um, it's not, like, so uncommon, but you don't see it too much, if that makes sense. Like, it's not such a unique formation. It just, yeah, you don't see it too much in Football Manager, in my experience. But let's say a first leg win will do us the world of good in this tie. Go out there and grab a win. Uh, not too many amazing reactions. So we'll go so I think there's a lot more to come from you. Uh, the lads should all look happy from that. All some, yeah, decent reactions from them. As you can see there, hoping for a big game from Sandro. Um, Sane, obviously, uh, those guys are players who can uh, win us games. Even Gabbiadini, he's in a similar mode. He's like a special player. He could have a bad game or he could do really, really well. He could waste chances or could take them and be really efficient and score a cracking goal. Okay, we've got a free kick here. It's Ward-Prowse. Okay, it's defended, but we get it back. Ward Prowse puts it in. Chris Smalling, Hoiberg, Sane. Look at this passing. Sandro should finish. That was a great chance for us early in the game. Sometimes you can have those chances early in the game. Maybe it's, in fact, too early. Like, that's a really good chance, like a quality chance. Maybe you'll get a, a chance at the start of the game that comes out of nowhere or something, but that was really well worked. So, if anything, it shows us we're on today, and they look off. They look off, and Sandro, he's had a couple early chances, uh, not able to finish, and hopefully that won't come back to bite us. Like, at this stage, we deserve a lead. Okay. Oh, they've got a corner. We've got to defend this. Yes, well done, but they've got possession back. Again, make sure, yeah, block the passes. Don't let them any, uh, any space to get through. Oh, but they're working at Tessie, and that was a bad shot. That's all I can really say about that. He was in a good position inside the box there, but failing to get that on target, the manager would be pretty disappointed, especially as, yeah, we were the better team of the half. I wouldn't say by too much, like we dominated possession or anything like that. It's more, yeah, those couple early chances, and I think I'm going to make a bold move. Uh, we may need to make a change. A substitution and I'm not afraid to make that change at half time I'm going to take off remove and I'm going to bring on there's a couple of considerations but I'm going to bring on Dusan Tadic and then put him attacking midfield this home game I feel like we could like I, I always want to make sure I do good defensively like keeping clean sheets um, so I thought maybe attacking midfielder um, in games uh, where we 
should be winning. But yeah, say we should be winning Sevilla. I, I don't really know how good or how good they've been going compared to us. But um, yeah, let's try and add Tadic in that you know, role. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, he's, he's not as good on attack. He's better support, so he can play those balls through and create, supposed to maybe, uh, opposed to maybe scoring himself. But anyway, making that change, bold move at half time. Will it pay off, though? I'm going to say, I'm pleased with how things are going. Keep it up, because we're playing good football. But they didn't really react to that. Let's go passionately. There's a lot more to come from you. Just <laughs> say that again. There we go. Not terrible. Not terrible. No bad reactions, which is good. And mentality, uh, we will step up to attacking. Not too many changes, but I want to go a higher tempo and we'll take off retained possession. But still, like, uh, yeah, shorter passing and work the ball into the box. Just play it in a fast style more than anything uh, with the higher tempo. Uh, play more attacking as well. Let's see how we go. Okay, bold move and we get a highlight. I say we, but it could be for them as well. But hopefully it is for us to highlight in the first minute of the second half. Dangerous ball. Sandro, another chance, man. We've had three clear-cut chances in this game. I think they've all been for Sandro. Come on, man. It was a hard chance with that header. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, we need a deflection to go our way. Sandro. Oh, man. He's wasting him today. Um... I'm not sure what that was, a cross or a shot, but he's wasting shots in this game and just chances in general. And here he, he's getting a lot of the ball. He just needs to start finishing it. Sandro, good pass to Gabbiadini. Ward-Prowse, here we go! Finish now! Oh, my God. Oh, that was a good save, but the shot was straight at him. So, guys, Sandro is not going to score today because his rating is suffering. He's not going to come back from that unfortunately. So we just got to bring on Chaz, Charlie Austin. Let's see what he can do for us. We'll go advance forwards. Um, yeah, hope for the best. And we'll go on attack uh, for our wingers, um, uh, Gabbiadini inside forwards. So hopefully these changes, man, are going to make an impact because we're, pl we're playing the right way right now. We're creating good chances. They're just not being finished. We, we are having a good game. But also, I guess, if we restrict Sevilla to scoring no away goals, so maybe we could at least have that advantage if we score against them. <laughs> we'll have to see. I'm looking for some positives in a game where suddenly nothing is happening at all. Uh, do we make third change now? Might as well. Bring on some Redmond pace, maybe. Gabbiadini hasn't really done too much. and then So we're just playing uh, with the two wingers out wide. And he'll go on attack. And maybe now we will go a bit more direct. Take out play out of defense. Work the ball into the box. No, we're going more direct now. Uh, be more expressive because we need to get that lead. And maybe change up the crosses a bit. Maybe we'll uh, float them into Austin. He may be decent. He's good in the air. Uh, 15 uh, for heading. 14 for jumping reach. Um, 188 centimeters. So he's a tall enough kind of player uh, to finish on his head, I would imagine. So hopefully, yeah, <laughs> we can see that. Come on. Uh, we play. We just need to get things right from this uh, point of view um, for the rest of the game to get that goal at least. They're making some changes as well. So this is going to be massive. We're going to go with uh, Touchline Team Talk as well and get creative. We want to create a chance. Let's see. Uh, Charlie Austin, could he come on and be the hero? Okay, here we are. Ward Prowse, make something of this. Oh, it's a penalty! Yes! Come on! Oh, we better finish. We better finish this. It could be an important goal in the context of this tie, and it is Charlie Austin. Could he be the super sub? Could he be experienced and cool enough to finish under pressure? He does. Very, very important, that goal. Definitely could be. Obviously, going to depend how the second leg goes and the rest of the 10 minutes here. But whew, that goal was... It was coming. It took a while. But yeah, five clear-cut chances. Eventually, we broke them down and it had to be through a penalty as well. But it definitely was uh, definitely a penalty there from how I saw that. Uh, just need to hold on now. Or well, Scoring a second would be lovely. I think how we've played deserves at least two goals. Sane! Sane! What an assist! What an assist! And great finish by Redman there. Classy. Redman needed to prove himself to me as well. Because I know he has that pace. Uh, but needs to show he has those uh, technical 
uh, parts of his game, and he showed that with a great finish. It almost came off the post, but in that situation, it's impossible sa- to save for the goalkeeper. So, turns out to be amazing. What I just mean by that, Redmond, yep, yeah, very pacey. He's got the pace, decent physically in the other attributes. Nothing too amazing though. Uh, but yeah, see, his finishing's only ten. So whew, that that was really good uh, for that shot from ten finishing. But maybe yeah, would have been in without coming off the post a little bit <laughs> if his finishing was higher. But that's what I, I just mean. I know, yeah, he's got the pace, and then his technicals, obviously dribbling, you know, first touch, ball at his feet. Yeah, that's what he's good at. So he's, he's got the pace, and he's good control, uh, good dribbler, um, that kind of winger for you, and help us score our second goal in this game. Very, very good. Uh, dominating performance. We deserve the lead, and hopefully not a late goal conceded. No, no, that is bullshit. No, defend for the whole game and score really with sec. 15, oh, okay, when did the ball officially go in the back of the net? Let's see. Let's see. We're really nine seconds before the game was supposed to end. Oh, come on. Come, and if that is the difference, oh man, if that's going to be the difference, I, I hope it won't be. I hope it won't be, so I don't have to revert back to this situation at the end of the second leg. Hopefully, we can just have a good game and win. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, we won't have to look back on that as uh, the reason we don't advance. Because that was a perfect performance. Maybe apart from not scoring earlier in the game. But defensively, was good. They didn't have many chances. Uh, but yes, uh, they managed to score in the 92nd minutes. And <laughs> yeah, right at the end, with like 10 seconds left. But now we shall head into the next game, which is against QPR in the FA Cup. And if you take a look at our game seal, we've only lost one that was against Arsenal in that period. Just this period here, uh, we've been unbeaten if you take away the Arsenal game. So, yeah, generally, uh, we've been in good form uh, last couple months, last three months or so. And even, you say unbeaten, and only three of them are draws, counting those games. The rest are wins. So we are, uh, yeah, getting the better of teams in majority of games so happy with that again uh, made some rotations here uh, wondering if I should uh, make any more um, classy uh, he might be on the outer as well because we haven't played him so much if I just play him in this game here he probably will end up still unhappy uh, so I think I will just leave it as is he may be uh, sold next season. There'll be, I think, a few players I want to sell because our budget will be low because uh, of the Sane, uh, Sane situation. Or Sane situation, yeah, big deal. I signed him. Um, yeah, big money. Um, we'll be paying more money over the like couple next couple seasons or so. So, yeah, we'll just have to manage that. But, yeah, I do think I need to sell players. Um, but th- not just because of that reason. I think... Um, they'll want to leave anyway because they won't be playing. Maybe types like, yeah, Ozzy Cup is a bit unhappy. He's actually... Uh, uh, I think he'll be good to play in this game ahead of Hoiberg. Just to rest Hoiberg more than anything. And Ward-Prowse, I think we just need one of those guys on the bench. And I think, yeah, Hoiberg... Hoiberg, Ho- Ho- if I can say his fucking name properly, um, Hoiberg, um, yeah, <laughs> he'll be better to, um, to come on, uh, potentially. And we will just uh, save him uh, for the next game. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, Urza Cup. We can just switch up their positions, actually. And that should be all right. Yeah, that team looks good. Let's get into the game now. And now taking a look at the stats so far. First 25 minutes or so. Yeah, we are dominating possession. Uh, looks like we just need to take more advantage of that. I think yeah, earlier in the game here, we're just going to go high tempo. And we're going to play some attacking football. And yeah, take our play out of defense. And even work the ball into the box. So just play a straight direct football and try and score. But it doesn't look like that has actually changed anything here. We're going to go in nil-nil, half-time. Not really impressed uh, with what I've seen. So could be a repeat of this. And if it works, I may, I'll may i create another version of this tactic. Well, I don't even think I need to. If it's just the swap from defensive midfield to attack midfield, it doesn't change the familiarity uh, too much. Uh, but... <laughs> Urza Cup, Urza Cup. He could, we could put him attacking midfield, actually. And then we can just push up Ramu. So we don't actually have to sub Ramu off. Uh, we can just push him to that position. And he can play as a defensive central midfielder. Yeah, on the defend uh, duty there. And yeah, that actually looks pretty decent. So yeah, we will go with that and just go back to the team talk and say aggressively, I'm not happy with the performance there. Really, <laughs> fire him up. 
But it looks like we may need some changes. Dusan Tadic, uh, he could be someone with a bit of market value as well. We could potentially sell. Even though he's decent, uh, he's heading to that stage of his career, pushing to 30. His value will only be on the decline. Uh, we've got to keep that in mind. And if we change him to attacking midfield, he may be more effective. But we definitely have to bring on Leroy Sane for the impact here. We're going to, yeah, Tadic for this game at least. Uh, we'll make that change with, uh, with Sane coming on. And then, uh, let's see, anyone else we could potentially substitute. I'm still going to leave it because if we score a goal, I'll maybe take Cedric off a lower condition like to use him in the next game uh and then we can bring we can make some changes put yeah kone we'll bring on van dyke or something uh or hinter we'll see we'll see we'll just make that change for now we're still looking for that goal though we are we are trying to find that oh it looks like davis has picked up an injury here uh damage we're gonna take him off he's gonna be a substituted player and um, we're going to bring on Hoiberg, <laughs> like I said. Hopefully, he can make an impact here for us. Ramu, oh, what do we do with Ramu here? Uh, do we try and play him in a bit more suitable role? Oh, he's already in a suitable role, a bit more creative role. Oh, Boarding midfielder on support, like one that he's still good at, good at just to get that mix. Ooh, big decision, the next sub, that is for sure. I'm going to leave that one because if we score, like I said, maybe make a more defensive change. But we should be taking the lead here against QPR. Uh, I've actually been a bit disappointed. Like Possession-wise, we've had a bit more, but shots have been pretty even. Redmond, dangerous ball. No, they just clear it. But we've got the men back. We just need to control the ball and build something up here. Or well, Forster, <laughs> he just kicks it upfield. But it may work out. Redmond going to keep this in. Good control with his chest. But then, unfortunately, that's why I mean, he doesn't really do much with it in that situation. But Sandro intercepts. Sandro, I don't know, last couple games, he's not finishing good chances. Obviously, that was more of one, like he just stole the ball. It was a quick chance. But you gotta, you got to take those opportunities. And normally, he would. He's been very clinical in his finishing. But uh, two couple disappointing games. We're going to bring on Charlie Austin. If we somehow get a penalty again, uh, maybe he'll be able to finish it. Or just, yeah, score a goal anyway, Chaz. Just any way you like. Send us through to the next round. Though it doesn't look like that is going to come to anything. And the game is going to end after 90 minutes. Nil-nil. Apologies. Oh, it's going to be extra time, of course, as well. So, yeah, we're going to see... Yeah, if it goes to penalties, at least uh, we'll have Austin and we know he can finish uh, from the last game. So I'm going to say I'm not happy again. <laughs> I said it once. Um, Austin, yeah, penalty taking 14 and he's a solid finisher as well. So obviously we need our other players to be good in that situation. You need more than one uh, to be good at penalties. But a lot is down to luck. But we should be beating QPR in 90 minutes so even if we do uh, end up scoring goal in extra time we're still going to be pretty uh, disappointed we couldn't have done it earlier because players we're going to need in the next game are going to be so dead this that's oh, that's a big reason why as well oh come on so yeah i'll be happy if we score a goal here but still pretty disappointed we couldn't have done it in 90 minutes uh, but we still need to remain focused to actually get the job done is Osam. Ramu out wide to Bertrand. Sane. Come on, Sane. Sane! We're going to finish. We're going to finish. See, I'm not so pumped about that because I know, yeah, next game is going to be hard uh, for our team. Um, hopefully, uh, we can just yeah make most of the break we do have. <laughs> not a break of too many days. But, yeah, good finish by Redmond. So, again, Redmond coming up with a goal. It's against QPR, though. But, yeah, like I said, scoring uh, at the right time. But three days, three like the break between um, the last game. Um, yeah, well, three days between the last game. We have four games, uh, four, four days between the next game. It just It's a very confusing time <laughs> with all these games around. But, yeah, uh, not a huge break. But that extra day compared to it just being three days, maybe, maybe fitness-wise, uh, we will be okay. We're going to find out how it goes anyway. Come on. Finish the game off here. Ramu, Osan, Austin. Osan, Austin. Ramu's got to finish. Ah, that's disappointing. We've had 10 shots on target. 
And we've got one goal. But it does look like we're going to grind this game out. But look at those uh, players at the back and the fullbacks we're going to need for the next game unless, yeah, <laughs> we're going to see what happens. Hopefully we don't concede at the end again. I don't think we will this time. I think uh, once in one episode is enough. So there we go, 1-0. Uh, maybe yeah, still a bit disappointing only beating them 1-0 and taking uh, 120 minutes to do it to win the game. But at the end, we advance in the FA Cup and that is good for us. And guys, we've made it to the FA Cup semi-final. So I think that is above expectations, uh, what the board wanted from us. So we go to the competitions, FA Cup, as you can see here. Uh, minimum expectation was to reach the sixth round. And they're very pleased that we've been able to reach the semi-final. But that's, I want to go on to win it, even though we're probably going to play against someone <laughs> that's tough. Manchester City, Manchester United, pretty much. If we could draw Stoke, will give us a better chance to make the final, and that would be... Uh, I don't think you could brag, really, about saying we made it to the semi-final, um, even if it's only Southampton. If we made it to a final, and yeah, if we ended up losing against City or Manchester United, it just feels better, in a way, even though you wouldn't like losing. Uh, let's just see. We'll draw one by one here. Manchester City... Could it be Manchester United. That would be fitting. Can be a Manchester derby, and then we can just get Stoke. Ah, we get Manchester City and it's away from home. Just uh, tough luck there. And just by the... Obviously, I'd want to beat Manchester City, but it looks like it would be a Manchester derby uh, for the final there. But either way, if we were going to win it, we would have to end up beating uh, one of them anyway. So you can't expect... Because there'll be more. It'll uh, be... It'll mean more if we do beat a better quality opponent. Uh, could it be against City? Well, we're gonna we're gonna have to fight our best, very very best, and that is going to be, uh, yeah, in a while. So we can oh, like that's another game against Manchester City. So <laughs> we've got tough games, uh, but hopefully we can show um, our ability. But here we go, third and final game of the episode, and it is a massive one. The second leg here against Sevilla. So you can see some other results there. There's still tough teams, but Napoli could be in a position to beat Juventus, but also, yeah, Juventus, uh, you know, they're a quality side, Bayern, uh, Monaco. So there's some big games there. Uh, big teams are going to be knocked out. Arsenal, a couple of those <laughs> uh, two ones there. But anyway, let's get into the game. This is the team and looks all right. We only played four days ago. Uh, but like I said, if it was a three-day break uh, compared to four days, it's just one day difference. But I can tell in the games where I have a three-day break, uh, they're different to the four-day break ones. I don't know if that's just me, but after three days, it, I just feel, yeah, a lot of our players are still a bit tired, but we look rested compared to um, how they were looking at the end of that last game, especially our fullbacks. I thought they would be a bit lower, like Bertrand, 94%. Cedric, uh, they obviously um, are pretty uh, fit players. Let's just take a look at that for a second. Yeah, natural fitness and stamina are pretty solid. And then for Cedric... Uh, well, there you go, 14 and 15, not too bad, but, yep, strong starting 11, I think we can get the job done here so against the VR, if we can get an early goal, uh, it would give us some even more confidence, uh, pushing forward for the rest of the game, uh, get the away goal, because uh, <laughs> you know they got one late, or oh, who knows how this is going to go. Okay. First half just played out like that. I'm not too disappointed. If it ends nil-nil, we'll go through. We got the lead. So this is playing into my hands right now. Unless they score a goal. <laughs> Apart from that, yeah, then uh, we'll need to get one ourselves. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I I'm I'm happy if the game just uh, plays out. We've got an aggregate lead. Now let's just make sure we hold on to it. Not really um, many reactions at all. And yeah, we'll just say our faith in them. And let's see if we can... I still want to win. I still want to win. Well, like, if we get a goal, uh, we should be able to hold on. So, yeah. But this game, I'm happy to leave uh, things, tactics, the formation as is. As we are having majority of possession. And, yeah, Sevilla, not too many chances themselves. Oh, Mercado. We've got to prevent this. Oh, what a tackle! Amazing Bertrand that had to be. Wow. Now, Sane, he's got the pace. This is why we signed you. Can he be worth the money? Oh, look at that. That is filthy pace and deserved a goal. Oh, Gabbiadini, I'm not sure. Or maybe it was uh, too close to almost being out. It was a hard angle for him, maybe. But Sane, that, that, that pace was filthy. Oh, damn. Um, 
I'm not going to make a change yet, actually. It would be a very bad time to concede here. And of course, man. Uh, we need to get a goal back. Come on, we've got to see something. Come on, don't just end with no highlight. Come on. Come on. I hate that, man. There's like 20 minutes remaining, no highlight. You've got to show something. Show what's happening. Take Sandro off, Austin on. Come on. And this is where I get mad, yeah? Uh, we just have to go for it, like, overload, yeah? Oh, my God. Take more risks. Pump the ball into the box. Have to go with that now. Be more expressive. Just no, be more expressive, I said. Yeah. Shoot on sight when we get a chance. Um, not very not very likely. But I know it's a game, so I don't want to compare too much to real life. But it should be realistic simulation, I guess. But, like... You know, always in like late in the game, there's so many chances. In Football Manager, there's rarely a lot of chances, uh, like at the end of the game. Unless you, yeah, show with that. But there's, no, there's not going to be a highlight. Yeah, there's not going to be a highlight. Well done. But anyway, a bit disappointed. I don't think we were a team. Uh, we had more possession, more shots, and we couldn't score. And because we couldn't get an away goal. And I told you that that goal they got, there was ten seconds left. Oh man, that, it just this that makes me mad, man. We were ten seconds away, essentially, from advancing. If that last ten seconds didn't happen, oh my god. But guys, we're gonna have to leave it there for now. So yeah, clearly disappointed about that result. Also because we didn't score a goal in that game. To me, it doesn't matter the opponent, doesn't matter home or away. I always expect to try and score one goal at least in the match. And we failed to do that. If we were able to, we would be advancing here today. So that's a bit unfortunate, but either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, the result, see, that's what I mean, yeah, that, that first First leg in Sevilla, we were so good looking. I don't want to, yeah, look back on it too much, but uh, we created a lot of chances in that game and we didn't score until a bit later. Uh, looking back on the match stats, it doesn't look like it was so much a dominant game. Like, possession was pretty even, but I guess more so the shots. Uh, how much clear-cut chances did we have again in that game? Yeah, the five clear-cut chances. It was a, a really dominating performance. So, yeah, looking back... Yeah, pretty disappointing. But at the same time, I don't think we have the quality in the team to actually uh, win the Europa League. So maybe, yeah, we'll shorten down the season length. Because maybe if I went to the next round, we'll have an extra episode or something. But anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts on this so far, this series so far. Maybe the plans for next season. Obviously, I definitely plan to stay at Southampton for the following season. Uh, but it's going to be a bit of a different one because we won't be in a European competition. So, yeah, different feel. So, yeah, it's, if I win, oh, if I win FA Cup, so that could be motivation. Uh, to try and win FA Cup to get a trophy as well, but we're going to have to be able to at least beat one big team and potentially two uh, of the Manchester side. So, yeah, Manchester City, oh, things are going to have to go very right for us. But, yeah, we'll see how we go. I'll play the next few Premier League games off camera and we'll just see yeah, how we're sitting, even though there is like Manchester City again then, yeah, Liverpool, but we'll see how we go after a few where we're positioned. But until then, if you could drop a like on the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.